Welcome back to another video everyone. This is Coaster Daddy and today I have another review, this time for an amusement park. I will be giving my in-depth thoughts on Waldemere Park in Erie, Pennsylvania, talking about what the park does best and some things it could maybe improve on. Stay tuned. Waldemere is a great little family operated amusement park in Erie, Pennsylvania with quite a history dating back to 1896. This is an example of a park like Knoebels where you do not pay for admission. You can just go here and walk around the park if you wish to do so. Here you will buy wristbands for unlimited rides or you can utilize the park's unique Wally cards which are cards you can load with a certain amount of money to use as points to ride purchase food, or anything else you might want to get while at the park. Waldemere is cashless, so you must either use a Wally card, credit, or debit card to purchase anything in the park, with the exceptions being to purchase tickets at the gate and at the Wally card kiosks to load your card. These Wally cards are reloadable as well, so you can just keep filling them up with points to your content. There's this table on the park's website which goes into detail about how much money a certain amount of points will cost you, but essentially, it is about $1 per point you purchase until you get to 25 points and you start to receive bonus points. However, if you are going to be riding a lot of stuff, do not purchase points. Just get a wristband for unlimited rides, as when you get to the 55 point tier, you are paying $50, which is more than the unlimited rides wristband, and all of the major thrill rides are 3 points, 4 points, or 4.5 points. If you are only riding a few things, I would suggest just getting the 10 or 27 points tier, which cost 10 and $25 respectively. Now, onto the actual review of the park itself. I will start by saying Waldemere really values their water park, Waterworld, and it really is a fantastic small water park. They have put lots of money into it in the last few years and it really draws in a lot of people. I won't be focusing too much on Waterworld though. It is a great water park however if you are somebody who is interested in doing that as well. Once you enter the park from either the Waterworld parking lot off of the main road or from the parking lot in the back by the picnic areas, you will come up on the gates, the new for 2019 Chaos, Music Express, Dodgems, and some other classic style amusement park rides. The atmosphere is great in my opinion. It has the classic amusement park feel through and through. Right beyond the ticket booths and next to the carousel is Comet, a 1951 Philadelphia Toboggan Company wooden family coaster designed by Herbert Schmeck. It is a great fun small coaster with some airtime moments and a great coaster that I am sure to get at least one ride on every time I visit Waldemere. Running along the left side of Comet is the entrance to Waterworld. Beyond this area, you will find a great kiddie area with lots of great rides for children, including the Ravine Flyer 3 Kitty Coaster, some boats, a frog hopper, monster trucks, and lots of other cool stuff. There is a huge emphasis on family fun at Waldemere, so you will also find lots of other great family rides such as the classic Thunder River Log Flume, the Sea Dragon Swinging Ship, and a paratrooper. Ravine Flyer 2 is a top-notch wooden roller coaster that you should definitely experience if you are into intense coasters. That is the marquee attraction of the park that is Waldemere's claim to fame ever since opening in 2008. My very first video I made on this channel was a review of Ravine Flyer 2 actually. The audio quality in that video is absolutely terrible, but go check that out as I think I summed up all of my thoughts very well with that review and still very much stand by that. Two things that you absolutely must do as well when you visit Waldemere are the Wacky Shack Dark Ride and Pirate's Cove, an old school fun house walkthrough. These kinds of rides are pretty rare now, and they are phenomenal classics that really help to make Waldemere a truly special place. Just try to get to Wacky Shack at opening time if possible, because the lines get very long due to its horrendous capacity. As great of a classic ride as it is, you won't want to wait in a huge line for it. I haven't really eaten much food at Waldemere, really just their candy and caramel apples which are absolutely incredible. Whenever I go to Waldemere, I still go with my family and we always pack a cooler and use the public picnic shelters, which is something Waldemere prides themselves on. From what I have seen, the food prices here aren't too terrible, but maybe a bit steep still in my opinion. Like I said, we don't really ever buy the food here, so I don't pay too much attention to the prices. As far as operations are concerned at Waldemere, they are pretty solid for the most part. On my last visit, I was surprised they were only running one train on Ravine Flyer 2, 
but typically the crews here keep the lines moving pretty well. Even with one train operations on my last visit, Ravine Flyer 2's line was going all the way down the ramp from the station and I still only waited about 15 minutes at most to ride it. And I was able to get 5 rides on it before we left at 7pm due to a big storm that rained us out. Overall, pretty good. Operations could use a bit of work as I noticed some things moving a lot slower, but I've never had any bad experiences at Waldemere in terms of operations. Also, most of the staff here are pretty friendly and helpful too, which is always a big plus in my book. Waldemere is a park that has been expanding a lot in the past several years and seeing good investments, which is great to see, especially when it comes to the water park. You also have the new for 2019 Chaos though, which is a Zamperla Discovery Revolution model. It is a pendulum ride that also inverts, and it is one of my favorite flat rides I've been on, and I prefer it much more over bigger pendulum rides like Max Air at Cedar Point and Delirium at King's Dominion. It is awesome to see some great stuff coming to the park, and it has continually been growing very consistently ever since I first visited in 2009. Waldemere is a very small park, and you should be able to very easily ride all of the major thrill rides and coasters within a few hours. You could easily spend all day here if you are doing Waterworld as well, which as a side note does cost a bit more and is not included in all general admission tickets. Waldemere would definitely be a great place to stop and visit if you are on the road between other parks, even if it is a bit out of your way. Ravine Flyer 2 makes the park worth it alone, and there are plenty of other great rides if you want to stay more than a couple hours or so and purchase an all-day ride wristband. If you are just looking to ride Ravine Flyer and maybe a couple other rides though, you can easily do it all in two or three hours on a typical day. I will note quick that the park will close early if the weather is looking bad, so just be aware of that. We have been at the park before where it has shut down at like 8 or 9 p.m. instead of 10 because of the weather. In conclusion, this is a fantastic family park that really has something for everyone. It is definitely geared towards families, but there is plenty of things to keep thrill seekers entertained too, the noteworthy attraction obviously being Ravine Flyer 2. I would definitely suggest not skipping out on this park if you are within 3 hours or so of it. It is worth it in my opinion. That is it for my review of Waldemere Park in Erie, Pennsylvania. Thank you all for watching this video and be sure to check out my other park reviews which I have in a playlist along with this one if you found this review to be helpful. Also like this video and subscribe to my channel for many more reviews, lists, speculation videos and more coming in the near future. Like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you all so much again for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.